Hi, Shalene Giles with FIG, bringing Wisdom Wednesday to you. Our theme today is being disqualified. Game over, man. Game this is probably over. going to be my least favorite video out of all of our weekly Wisdom Wednesday videos. It's just not something that we want to talk about, and it's just not something that we want to happen in our career. But it happens. We need to bring the white elephant out, and we need to talk about it. There's a difference between testifying as a witness versus an expert witness. If you testify as a witness, then you do not run the risk of being disqualified. But if your referring attorney designates you as an expert witness, you are deposed and or you testified in trial as an expert witness, then there's always the risk, great or small, of being disqualified. This is when opposing counsel says, we do not want you to testify in front of the judge or jury as an expert witness. There could be many, many reasons why opposing counsel says, we don't want you in front of judge and jury as an expert witness. Sometimes those reasons have absolutely nothing to do with you. You're the scapegoat. Or there's an opportunity for opposing counsel to bill a significant amount of time during your attempt to being disqualified. Sorry, it just happens. One of the things that I learned early on during my first Daubert motion to be disqualified as an expert witness is don't take it personal. If you take it personal, it is going to eat you alive. You're going to have anxiety, depression, adjustment disorder, and even PTSD. Don't take it personal. Attempts to disqualify you by opposing counsel are typically going to be after your deposition. If you're seasoned enough in deposition and you understand questions in regards to the different state and federal laws of how you qualify and disqualify as an expert witness, then you're going to see these questions come at you during deposition. I call them setup questions. I'm being set up for a motion to disqualify me. Weeks or months after your deposition is when you would receive a motion to disqualify you, or it could be immediately on the stand during trial. If it's after your deposition and before trial, this will come in a paper format. Your referring attorney will receive this motion. Typically, it's a Daubert motion. You'll have the opportunity to respond or rebut to this motion. Please, please, please take time to review the motion to disqualify you, discuss with the referring attorney, and create a detailed response as to why you disagree with this motion to disqualify. Cite resources and references such as core curriculums, texts, associations, certification boards, standards of practice, scopes and standards of practice. Cite references and resources of why you disagree and why, yes, you should be qualified as the expert witness. Typically, this response will come in an affidavit, which will have to be notarized. The next step is whether or not there will be a hearing in front of the judge to discuss your qualifications. This could be before trial. This could be during trial. This is not the time where you'll discuss opinions regarding your report. For lack of a better term, it is an interrogation or an interview about you, your license, your certification, your education, your employment, your experience, your training. It has nothing to do with your opinions in your report. Come prepared. The few times that I've had motions to disqualify, the judge did not allow me to testify in the hearing. Instead, the referring attorney had to represent me. I spent many of hours with the referring attorneys, prepping them, making sure they understood who I am and the industry that I practice in. Fortunately, we prevailed on all of those hearings. The judge and only the judge determines if you are qualified or disqualified as the expert witness, not the plaintiff attorney, not the defense attorney. They may say, I'm going to disqualify you. That's just simply not true. They can request that the judge qualify you as the expert witness, or they can request that the judge disqualify you as the expert witness. At the end of the day, it is solely the judge's decision whether you are the expert or you're disqualified as the expert. So let's talk about being disqualified. There are two types of disqualification, a partial disqualification or a full disqualification. A partial disqualification as an expert means there are line items in your report that the judge does not agree that you can be qualified and you are not allowed to discuss those parts of your report with the jury. A full disqualification means you are not allowed to testify at all as an expert witness on that case. 
Either way, a partial or a full disqualification should always be disclosed in future referrals, in future depositions, and future trials if asked. A disqualification is something that you have to wear, but it doesn't mean that your career is over. In talking with a colleague about recently being disqualified in a full disqualification on a case, my colleague said when she spoke with a mentor, he said, honey, welcome to the club. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to face a motion to be disqualified, whether that's a partial or a full disqualification. It just happens. It's the nature of the industry. If we can be proactive in our report, if we can be proactive in our depositions, instead of being reactive, this is going to lessen the risk of being disqualified. Shalene Giles saying, have a blessed day.